Hello everybody and welcome to another visual basic tutorial by Shai. In this tutorial I will show you how to make a web searcher like a quick search Google, like a Google quick search. I'm going to open Visual Basic, start a new project, okay, doesn't matter what you call it. We are going to have one text box and a we'll make this a little professional we're gonna have two radio buttons and a regular button we're gonna name the first radio button uh, I mean we're gonna change the text on the first radio button to web and the second one to images and the buttons text would be search Make this a little nicer. All right. Now we're going to make sure the web is checked before we start. Now we're going to add another form, Windows form. So we're going to click on Windows form. We'll just call it form two. We're going to add that. So now that we have this, we are going to add a web browser. And if you don't have this web browser, you should have it. If you don't have it, go to sort item, go to choose items. This is going to take a while. Go to COM components and I think it should be here. Web. No, where is it? Web, web browser. So if you don't have that check, just check it and then press OK. When you added this in here, um, we could start coding double click search and we are going to go open in Internet Explorer whichever one you desire doesn't matter we are going to just write anything so we'll write blah 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 well, make sure you put spaces in there because we want to know what it does to the spaces as you can see here it changes all the spaces to plus signs so we're going to copy this address and we're going to say here form to equals um, form two dot web browser one dot navigate to the thing we just copied to the address on Google. We're gonna search for blah 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 and there it is right there. So we're gonna close the parentheses. As you can see it's it did change the spaces into plus signs so we want to change it back so we want so we also want to do that in our text box so we are gonna say text box no we're gonna say if text box one dot text dot contains space then text box one dot text dot replace and now we're going to replace space with plus signs. So it's going to do that first. And then here, instead of that, we're just going to write plus text box one dot text. And then we're going to say form two dot show. Okay. So that's pro that's kind of it. Let's see what it does. So I'm going to say, I don't know, let's just write tree. Search. And it's taking a little longer than usual. Oh, I know why. 
I accidentally created two web browsers. There you go. And now it will work. So let's just write tree. And there you go. It did write tree in here. And if we write cars are cool. And it does write that too. Now we want to do the image images so we are going to say we're going to add another if here I'm going to say if radio but one dot checked equals true then so if the radio button one is checked is is checked then do what we've just told it to do but if so else if radio button two is checked We are going to do, tell it to do. Well, we can say the same thing, but let's see what it does to images. So we're going to take this again, the address again. Put it in here. Find the blah blah blah, and there it is. And this time, it changes. It changed all the spaces into. 20% so over here instead of plus signs we're gonna write 20% and we're gonna change all this blah 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 into plus text box one dot text and now let's see what that's gonna do so we're gonna say trees in images and it shows us trees in images and if we say trees on web it will show us trees in the web that's all guys thanks for watching please comment rate and do whatever you guys do thanks